with me. I'm going to actually uh, tilt the camera up a little bit because he's a giant. So hold on just a second. <laughs> All right, man. So um, I got my brother Jukes here with me. For y'all that don't know, quick intro. Most of y'all already know Jukes as the Jackie player. He's been playing her since day one, since I met him. I met Jukes in May. Uh, 2019 and, and as I've said plenty of times before me and Jukes had a chance to chop it up one day when he was starting his stream and he he was one of the people that really was a catalyst for me to get pushing on streaming consistently and he was he was the one telling me hey man look if you want to stream I'm gonna shoot you some viewers over you know I'll, I'll raid you or I'll host you whatever if you really want to do this and I was like all right bro if some I got somebody believing in me let's rock with it so um, first off, I want to say thank you for that, bro. Second off, I want to say you always wearing these damn headphones every time you play. <laughs> and, and I know me, you talked about it before, but before anybody asks, can you let the folks know, like, is it is it is it just a common thing for you, or is just it, it allows you to to feel like you at the at home when you playing the same way you know you out playing? Uh, so pretty much like. Like every everywhere I go, like no matter what, I always got my headphones on. No matter no matter what, everywhere I go, I always got my headphones on. If you wanna find me, look for the nigga that got the headphones on, cause that's gonna be me. Even like when I stream and I have my headphones on, I'm listening to music all the time. I'm playing music through my stream. It's just like a calm and relaxing thing. Uh, pretty much just chilling, you know, to like either beats or. Or maybe like Drake or Logic, some just some st general stuff like that that uh that I listen to, uh, and just a wide variety of things that I listen to. But uh, yeah, man, I just it's just a chill thing, like just keep me, you know, keep me calm. All right, yeah, I I, I had to you know go ahead and cover that, but the main thing I want to cover, bro, is the fact that you have made it to the top eight of Pro Comp, the first Pro Comp online competition. So congratulations to that, by the way. Did you have the headphones on when you were actually playing those matches? I didn't have these specific headphones on but i did have headphones on <laughs> listening to music while i was playing the match hey, yeah. what, what did you listen to was it lo-fi no it wasn't lo-fi oh, okay. i'll listen cool. i'll listen to juice world hey recipes juice world man i think he was watching over you or something man you feel me hey, on top of your skill brother so top eight right you the only is it, are you the only jack wait 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 are you the only jackie of course i am what uh, of course who, who else plays jackie oh wait but she broke right that's, that's what they all say. Wouldn't they be? But wouldn't they be playing her though? If she was, wouldn't it? It should be all Jackies in top eight, shouldn't it? Hey man, I don't know, man. You gotta talk to them about that. Oh, that's crazy, huh? Even after the after the customs? What? Even after the customs. Damn. Do you got a custom Jackie, or is she just? Is it? It just just you just running upgrades. I'm sticking to my roots, man. Boy, what? Damn, that's crazy. So I feel like I always had to endure the 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 Jackie hate vicariously through you because anytime I was watching you compete in anything, dude, it was always tough for me to see in the chat different people talking shit or talking shit about you being carried or talking shit about Jackie. At the end of the day, bro, I, I hear what people say sometimes, but I want to get your, I want people to hear your opinion on that and, and that character in a, in a sense of, do you feel like you've made her? I mean, I, I've been playing the character since day one. Like, I literally, like, you can ask anyone. I've been playing the character since day one. Like, they know me, like, day one. I was playing first round KO. And then when the uh, third variations came out, I didn't, I didn't switch over right away. Cause I didn't at first I didn't like upgraded at all. Like I thought upgraded was like silly, just like the whole uh, leaping around and doing shadows in the air. I didn't really I didn't really like uh, understand it well enough to actually use it. So I kind of left it alone. I stuck with first round KO for uh, probably about uh, a couple uh, about a month or a month or two after uh, upgraded came out. And then uh, I went to a uh, Texas local, and uh, I was using first round KO, and uh, I was talking to Ominous, and Ominous said, "Hey man, look, you're crazy if you keep using first round KO." And I mean, because since Upgrade has a leap, and that covers first round of like getting zoned or getting uh, getting kept out, so I'm just like, man, maybe Ominous is right, man. So I I kind of just whenever I went back home. I picked up upgraded and I started practicing and practicing and practicing and practicing. And uh, at first I was really bad with it. Like I was like really terrible with upgrading. And the more I just kept playing it and playing it and playing it, I just got to where I am now. 
And so, and so when you said, when you said you kept practicing and practicing and practicing, I don't think people really understand the amount of hours that it takes to put in into a game, bro. Because you got people that's veterans that's been beating you, but you've been giving them problems, right? You've been slaying some dragons out here every now and then. You know what I mean? And so, I don't think people realize how many hours it takes to put into this game. Just if, to put it in perspective, can you let the people know how many games you got played with j just Jackie alone? Uh, if you're going to look at my profile, I have around 1,100 hours on the game. And I guarantee you, you can't go to no other Jackie player. I, I promise you, bro. No other Jackie player in the game got more games than me with that how character. Games, how many games you got with I Jackie? I have 25,000 games with Jackie, bro. 25,000. 25,000. Did y'all hear that? I promise you, I promise you, you, you can't find no other Jackie player that got that man. Uh, there, there is, I mean, there are other Jackie players. Uh, Brim. Brim. Brim is the only other person I know. I don't know if they know Brim. But, uh, but Brim is also another day one Jackie man. And he has around the same amount of games that I have. He has about 24,000. And I have around uh, 25,000. But other than that, like, you're not going to find no other Jackie player with more games than me. And so, uh, I know before this, um, and we're going to get back to the top eight because I want to ask you some a little more about the top eight before you go to your next match. But I just want to say, I know you were playing Injustice and you were playing a character uh, by the name of Flash. I, I didn't, I wasn't too heavy in the Injustice scene. I watched a few, uh, I watched a few Injustice uh, uh, matches. I got a chance to, to check out the gameplay. If you flip the scenarios and you put your streaming level and where you are now and put Flash in that same scenario, do you think Flash would get the same hate? Yeah, uh, so pretty much uh, Flash is like a, they, they would just call him like a brain dead 50-50 character. And pretty much with Flash, all you have to do is high or low to open somebody up. Uh, and it's like really easy. It's not like hard at all. It's like brain dead 50 50s. Okay. So, you know, like so all the. He was even worse. You know, like all the casual and stuff like that. Uh, and Justice 2 was actually my very first fighting game. I, before that, I didn't know anything about fighting games. I knew of Mortal Kombat, but I didn't know how to play it or I didn't know how to do anything else like that. Uh, my friend actually, my friend actually got me into Injustice 2, cause at first we were playing, we were playing Naruto together, and he was like, and, he, and his brother was into fighting games, and uh, he got me into fighting games, which is Injustice 2, and so uh, he kind of put me on, and I kind of started playing uh, Injustice 2 a lot. I wasn't very good at it. I was, I was, I was decent, but I, I wasn't to like, I wasn't super, super high level at the game. And so he pretty much launched my career in fighting games and getting involved in the FGC and the community. And like literally like without him telling me about the game, uh, like literally it's, it's, he's the reason why I'm playing fighting games now. Like literally everything I do, every accomplishment I make, I, I tell him immediately. Like when I got the pro, when I got top eight at the pro tour, I mess up and say, hey bro, I made top eight at the pro tour, bro. I literally, if it, if it wasn't for him, I, I wouldn't be sitting here now. I would, I'd be at home doing bullshit. Hey, that sound like that sound like the same shit I said about you with, with me and streaming, bro. You know what I mean? So it's full circle. You you got people that show love to you. You 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 did that same thing in my opinion for me with the streaming shit. And and I, I I've carried that forward, bro. I'm taking the torch forward. I I try to do whatever I can to motivate whoever I feel is you know capable and, and just as motivated as myself to do that so i appreciate you just like you appreciate him i want to say man with this top eight losers or winners Lo losers okay top eight losers so who was it that sent you to to losers uh it was, it was han rashid i was playing i was playing han rashid and I, do, I have like a little thing I do, like, so I, I was up 2-0, right? I was, feeling, I was feeling good, and I was like, man, I'm about to get this 3-0 and move on to my next opponent. Mm -hmm. So whenever, I, like, whenever I'm like really up, like, I'm feeling myself, mm -hmm. like, whatever music I'm listening to, I start singing along to it, like, out loud. Hey, what, 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 what song? I'm gonna hold. I, I got you. What song was it? What song was it you started singing out loud? Well, whenever I was playing, whenever I was playing in the pro tour, I was uh, listening to Juice World at the time. And so that's what you started singing out loud once you was going up. Whenever, whenever I just start feeling myself or I have like the momentum going, I start singing this. I start singing along to the song out loud. All right. So it sounds like we're not gonna play that that specific Juice World song no more because that motherfucker.
got you a verse 3 0 all right? I'm going to need you to take that one off the playlist, my nigga. It's, that's a bad juju song right there, all right? You know, it happens. You get reverse 3 0. Nothing you can do about it, but it's move game, forward. And, yeah, move forward and uh, focus on the next match coming up. Leave it in the past. It's over with. And, and guess what? You ended up you ended up winning out. Now you're in top A still. Who, who'd you go through to win those? Uh, I played Patient Impulse, uh -huh. the right in player. I yep. beat him 3 0. I played Crispy Fungus. He played Joker. Uh, I beat him three to one. And then to get to secure top eight, to secure top eight, I beat Titanium Tigers three one. Who was who was I'm curious. Who was Titanium Tigers playing when y'all played? He was using uh, Broke Cetrion. He was using the Ground Pound, the uh, Teleport, and the Tornado. Yeah, that's top. A lot of people would say that's top one in the game right now. GGs to that brother. Yeah, bro, it looked like you got too too easy tomorrow. Um, shout out to Easy Man. He was just in the uh, We Play tournament out in Ukraine. That sh was probably some of the best production that I've seen on a tournament scale. Um, I I'll say as a creator, as a content creator, and as a streamer, that sh really motivated me. Um, in the sense that. It made me feel like I'm not even close to where I need to be as far as production and pushing forward. So just like I think in a sense that it motivates you as a competitor to get better. And, and when you're competing against somebody that, you know, might might get the best of you and you're like, OK, what did I lose to? How did how do I get better? When I see stuff like that, it makes me go and, and, and look and see, damn, what can I do to make my stream better? How can I give a better experience to my people in the stream? Um, what did you think about that that we play tournament and and would that be something you would be interested in going to if they ever invited you? Hey man, find me out, man. <laughs> uh, at the we play tournament, uh, they give you 1K just for going. What? Yeah. 1K just to go? Just to go. They give you 1K just to go. Uh, your flight was paid for, a round trip it was paid for. Uh, they paid for your hotel. They stayed there for 10 days. They pay for the hotel, anything, they have food, they had breakfast, they had lunch, dinner, all that good stuff, all paid for. All you had to do is show up. Damn. You just had to accept the invite. Hey, we was talking about doing a Mash House Invitational, but y'all don't have to buy y'all own flights, all right? We ain't got no bread like that, but, hey, but, but 2021, man, I'm, look, I'm excited for 2021. I know you had some up and downs with the game, bro. I just want to close it out with what do you plan on doing as far as the game going forward but with the pro comp and, and you know we play and the potential to do shit like that do you see yourself continuing to push through it and through the adversity and, and keep going it's honestly not worth it but i was in scar stream the other day for everyone that knows scar yes sir. and uh i said scar because scar told me he's pretty much done everything he's wanted to do He's made it up there, played played all the top players, and he's won a lot of tournaments. So I said, Scar, what is your reasoning for wanting to play the game? He told me, he said, Jukes, man. He said, there are people that still want to see me play. I said, what? He said, the people that still want to see me play and for the content. I said, damn, I, I kind of make a lot of sense. Like, he still got that fan base out there. There's people that, that believe him. Yeah, and people that want to see him perform and do his thing. And they know Scar is a high level player and you know he can, he's entertaining to watch so i was just like damn i was just like there are people that uh, people always ask me like jukes did you enter did you enter did you enter yeah. i'd be like damn bro like, no i didn't enter or i didn't do this or do that and like i built up such a i kind of like built up a little fan base i don't know how i don't know how actually big it is since jackie is like the most hated character ever but I still got those loyal people that still want to like see me play and everything. Bro, let me tell you something. With with customs, bro, you got it's a lot more motherfuckers out there to be worried about than Jackie now, bro. So I really feel like if you're gonna keep pushing, don't let. If you're gonna stop, I definitely don't feel like that should be the factor that stop you because f all that. If Jackie was that, you know, easy to play, it'll be more than one top eight person right now playing Jackie. But guess what? You the only in the top eight right now playing jackie so yes, congrats to you my brother um keep pushing bro you know i'm always try to push you and motivate you same way you motivated me to get started with the streaming bro so um bro much love to you jukes good luck to you in this man and good luck to tomorrow as well bro Yes, sir. Appreciate you, big well, Yes, sir. No you, doubt, bro. Thank you, man. All right. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, man. Look, tell you, bro. I might be, I might be kind of cold in this interview, and shit, boy. I'm trying to.